Hello Kamarana fans and welcome back to my Raise Buckle series here on Choku Topics. So today we're going to be going over the upgrade buckles for Kamarana Geats. From the Fever Slot, to Twin Command, to Power Builder, we have a lot to get through here today, so let's go ahead and start with the Fever Slot. So first up we have the Fever Slot, which was released in around December 2022. So this buckle is a really cool looking one, it's very reflective with all the chrome. You might be able to see me, hey, there I am in the chrome. Uh, but I like this one a lot, it's based off of a slot machine, and so because of that it has all of the buckles for the main 5 riders kind of programmed into the little slot right there. Slot. It's definitely still a relevant buckle and it's definitely a fun one here, and I like it as kind of our first main upgrade for the whole kind of show's cast. So the next major upgrade item was the Raising Sword with the Twin Command Buckles. So these ones were definitely an interesting one, getting you to buy an entire sword for this toy. So let's go ahead and turn this on. There is a little adapter for you to plug this into one of the raised buckle holders. And you get to this buckle attached to the sword, then you get this one not attached to the sword which you're supposed to put into the driver first. Activate it and that would give you the sword. And then you have the sword here where you can slash and stuff like that. It lights up different colors, and then you charge this up. And that's where you take the buckle off of the sword with this button back here. And you would bring it to the desired driver, which we'll set up for that now. And that brings us to the Powered Builder Buckle, the personal buckle used by Kamen Rider Seeker, which you do get the ID code for in this set. This buckle was also used primarily a lot by Geats in the show. So there's like two main toys that kind of go with this. But this is kind of the main one. You get this additional raised buckle piece that comes with this buckle. So this one has sounds in it, just like Beat did. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with this, plus the additional uh, Geats box that we'll be taking a look at in a second here. So we'll go ahead and start with Seeker's ID core and kind of his base transformation stuff before we kind of dive into the extra things that you can do with this buckle. So now that we're transformed into Seeker's base form, we can plug a bunch of additional buckles into this whole little slot right there. So we'll go ahead and start with just regular weapon buckles. Those are like the, the main ones that are not used, but they can fit. But of course there are the three that actually come with this buckle that you're supposed to use. So we can go ahead and start with this one. There are three other buckles that you can use with Power Builder, and that's where the Geats mission box comes in. So this is a white and black version of the yellow and pink ones that were already released before. And in this one, you actually got three brand new buckles, but I have been using it to store ID cores and little keychains and little instruction pamphlets. Just a bunch of little extra Geats stuff. But those come with three exclusive buckles, or kind of exclusive, but you get the Magnum Shooter 40X buckle, which was actually used in the show, and it's exclusive to this set. And this unlocks just the typical Magnum sounds in the Desire Driver if you're not using the powered buckle with it. You also get the Dueler buckle for Ninja, which just activates as a regular Ninja in the Desire Driver. And this one you can get in a Candy Toy set. 
And then finally, the zombie breaker buckle, which just functions as a regular zombie buckle in the desire driver, and these two were not in the show. Same thing with the B axe buckle. That one doesn't do anything special in Power Builder, but it was released as a candy toy exclusive alongside King Oger. But what are Geats Riders without their supporters? And that is where this buckle, but namely this thing, comes into play the laser raise riser. So I have an entire other riser dies a thing just for this buckle, which I didn't really want that thing. I wanted this thing, which is the kind of main piece of the laser raise riser, another transformation item for the show that uses these cards. So there are four of them for each of the supporter riders for the main four. So these two, the ones for Jin and Baraba, come with the laser raise riser itself. And he gets Kuhn and Kekara's cards. You have to buy this piece of plastic that does absolutely nothing. But getting rid of that piece of plastic waste, here is the full laser raise riser with this piece that they use to kind of summon the buckle and get the rest of the gun. So these cards are pretty cool looking. They're very similar to the one that comes with the vision driver. They're not compatible with that as far as I know, and that card is not compatible with this one. Though the next video I'll be doing in this series will be on the vision driver, so stay tuned for that. But these cards look pretty cool. Here's Gene's card, which has Geats's symbol on the back, so they have the symbols of the riders that they are the supporter of. Baraba's card has Buffa's symbol back there and is done up in pink. Kekrez has Tycoon's and is done up in green. And Kuhn's has yellow with Nagos on the back. So, this actually is a rare buckle. It's kind of like a big buckle essentially that also doubles as a gun. This actually has an on and off switch. The other ones have a pull tab, which Pretty crazy for Bandai to actually have a toy with an on and off switch these days. So before we combine the laser raise riser with the desired driver, we have the four supporter riders to transform into. So taking this piece here and any of the cards, you just lock it in like that. So you have the symbol facing that way and then combine the two pieces together. So all of these guys have the same two finisher sounds by just pulling up on the little kind of trigger back here. And then there's also supporter mode. So before Geats can use a laser raise riser, he got one of my favorite forms from the show, Boost Mark II, with the Boost Mark II buckle, which is very shiny as well, even though it's not chrome. The inside is chrome, so there's that beautiful looking interior, which is very similar to the regular Boost buckle. So this is just going to go into the driver on this side. And you can do some finishers with this one. I know I'm not really doing finishers and stuff in this video, just to kind of get through these older toy releases that I'm sure a lot of people have already seen at this point, but. And just like the original buckle, you can do a boost time.
So for Geats' most recent form, we're going to take the buckle on this side. And we're going to be plugging the kind of main interior of the laser rays riser in on that side. And that is Kamen Rider Boost, or Kamen Rider Geats Laser Boost. So, really like the look of this thing. Love this gun leg cane off of here. You can do finishes with this as well. I love it. So, very fun kind of penultimate form before his final form. And that is going to bring an end to today's video. Taking a look at a bunch of power up buckles from the Twin Command buckle to the Fever Slot buckle to the Power Builder to the Laser Rays Riser and Boost Mark II. So, kind of did this video a little bit differently. I kind of tried to kind of rapid fire through this one because a lot of these buckles are very old, very old toys that I'm sure everybody's already seen already. And I want to get to the Vision Driver for part five, but I figured we had to do this for part four. So, let me know down in the comments below. Which of these buckles have you picked up for your collection? What do you think of Comrade Geats so far? And are you excited to see his final form, Boost Mark 9, which we should be seeing pretty soon after this video? And that'll probably be like a part six or something. There's still some other buckles to take a look at, but I love this toy line. It's been a lot of fun collecting pretty much everything this year. Until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter, at Living Ranger Key, or Fick PR, and I'll see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Rabbit Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bezetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, and Jesus Prime. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, links in the description below.